Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom black bars to get an aspect ratio that looks more anamorphic and cinematic. Uh, there's a bunch of other ways you can do it. You can work in Premiere, you can download it from the internet, but uh, for me personally, this is the best method. Uh, you, cr you end up with a file that's just a, a drag and drop file that you can bring into Premiere, and also it's your own material, so you can have that pride in your work and don't have to worry about it being, quote unquote, somebody else's property if you're making money off of something and all that jazz. So let's dive right into Photoshop and let's do this. So we're gonna go Photoshop and open it up. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our canvas size so that it's the same as what we work with in Premiere, which for me is 1920 by 1080. And even if you're working at 4K, uh, it's it's the same ratio pretty much. So you can always scale up uh, the aspect ratio and the black bars to, to match your bigger frame size. And because it's simple black bars, it's not gonna degrade when it scales up. So uh, 1920, by 1080 in pixels, not inches or centimeters, or anything like that. Resolution doesn't have to be crazy. And let's create it. Here we go. And the very first thing that we're gonna do once we're in here is we're gonna make this black. Uh, so go over here to your swatch and drag it to become black. Click OK. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, use our paint bucket tool and we're gonna just make the entire thing black. So go over here to the side. You can use the G key uh, as a shortcut. Uh, or over here on the side. Sometimes the gradient tool will be the top thing that shows up. Uh, so if that's the case, just click, hold, and then go to the paint bucket tool. Now that you've done that, go over here, click on your canvas, and boom, there you go, it's black. Uh, next thing, go over here, unlock your layer, just so that, uh, I, I can't remember if it lets you work in it or not once we do our next step. Uh, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go crops. You can either use the shortcut key C, or you can go over here to the sidebar, uh, and you can click here. Uh, this is not what you're probably gonna see. What you're probably gonna see is that. Uh, you're probably gonna see just it completely covering the entire size of your canvas, and over here, it's either gonna be blank or you're gonna see 1920 by 1080, the size of your canvas. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. First of all, make sure uh, at view, snap, that snapping is on, little check mark there. Uh, make sure that you have rulers. And then we're going to be uh, basically making our aspect ratio uh, perfectly match in terms of like the mathematics of like what size it needs to be. So to do that, we need to know what aspect ratio we're actually working in because there's a bunch that we can. But for all intents and purposes, um, the one that most people use, the one that's most common to get that like cinematic look or that a lot of people cheat with, um, you know, when they're making these black bars is uh, the ratio of one to 2.35. And that's just the ratio when everything is said and done. Uh, the length of your video to its height. So we're just gonna calculate for ourselves what that number actually is uh, for our height. And we're gonna go to calculator and it's a ratio. So we can figure it out pretty easily. We'll just go 1920, the length of our video. Uh, and then we're gonna divide that by the aspect ratio that we want, which in our case is 2.35. And the number that we get is 817. And that's the total number of pixels high that our, our video is gonna be once we factor in that the black bars are taking part of that out. Uh, so 817, you're gonna go over to this right hand side here uh, where it's 1080, that's the height of your crop, uh, and you're gonna just type in 817, and there you go. Uh, now here's the catch. We're actually not gonna crop this. The reason that we put in our rulers and made sure that everything was snapping is for this next section. Uh, we're gonna go up to the rulers here, click on the ruler anywhere, and then drag down, you can see that it's gonna snap to the edge of the crop there. Boom, that's good. And you're gonna do that again to the very bottom. Boom. And now we're actually not gonna crop, we're gonna just delete that crop. The entire purpose was just to get these markers so that we know exactly where we want our, uh, our black bars to be. Now here's how we actually get rid of that middle section. Go to the marquee tool, which is over here, or you can use the shortcut key M. And because snapping is on, what we can do is we can just make a general, um, a general selection and it will snap to the edges here as long as you're pretty close. There you go, see the purple uh, line that indicates that we've actually gotten the edge. Then go all the way over here. Another couple of lines show that, okay, lengthwise we're symmetrical. And then finally, we're 100% symmetrical. Let go. And then you're gonna uh, just quickly make sure that your feathering is at zero, otherwise it'll look kind of weird. You wanna just be like a, a really straight edge, uh, no fading whatsoever. Now hit the backspace and boom, you have your transparent background there. And so what that does is that just shows you that whatever is gonna be going through here, it's transparent. Your video is gonna be able to show through uh, in between these black bars. Now, diselect this here, 
and you're actually done. We're just gonna export the file as a PNG, which will allow that transparency to show through, and then we're done. So let's go File, Save As, and go down, instead of a Photoshop file, we're gonna go to PNG. And you can see that I've already made a bunch here. Uh, and these are actually, if you wanna take a quick note, these are actually kind of the more custom, sorry, these are uh, the more uh, common aspect ratios that are used for different purposes. Uh, but for our purposes, we're just gonna name it that aspect ratio for the YouTubes. Boom, save it. And uh, I prefer no compression. And guys, that's literally it. Um, I'm just gonna wrap up here, but I'm gonna show you that it actually works really easily in Premiere and just show you that it's actually really easy uh, to use uh, in your Premiere files. Uh, so let's go to where we exported it to, custom aspect ratios. There we go. And you can see that it's just a simple drag and drop, and now we have custom black bars over top of our video. Uh, and it's really easy just to make it cover the entire project. Left, right, now your entire project is completely covered in your black bars. Awesome. And guys, that's literally it. That's how you create your own custom black bars in Photoshop. I, I hope this was helpful for you guys. It's, it's really nice just to have every single little piece of your video be something that you created yourself. There's nothing wrong with downloading it from the internet as long as you know that person has said uh, that you can actually use it, you can actually use it for your own videos and all that jazz. But it's just really nice to know that every single little thing in your video is something that you created yourself and that you have complete ownership of. But that's it for me guys, thanks so much for dropping by and I hope to see you next time.